Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, after a question from a viewer about Windows 11 and Windows 11 uh, sound options or what we can actually modify and how we can deal with the different uh, input and output devices, microphones, um, you know, uh, speakers, um, external speakers, and so on. Uh, the question was, where are some of the settings that are important to note in the sound? So one of the first things you should know is that there's still the good old control panel settings. So for sound devices, first of all, in the control panel, if you go to control panel, you will actually have available in here the sound icon, which has and will bring you the good old panel that you could see here with you know playback recording and so on and you have a lot of options here more than what you would have in the settings app so that's why this panel said exists in the control panel but for the most part most of you will be okay with what's in here so you can go into your settings app and go into sound and here each devices that you have are in here so you'll have speakers the uh, different types of audio outputs that you have. You can click on one, see all the information, the bit rate and so on, volume, channel, uh, left, right channel, and so on. Uh, there's an advanced uh, feature for enhanced audio and so on. So all the options for sound are here. Uh, you have, of course, at the top, the output, which is everything that is um, a speaker, headphones, and so on, where you actually hear sound and the inputs, which is the microphones and other devices like the stereo mix here that you have, which is a virtual um, way of having recording or uh, input of sound in the computer. You both in the um, devices of output and input, you can add a device in there. When you click add devices, what it'll do is it's gonna ask you through where, through a display, is it a Bluetooth device uh, or something else? And it will, of course, help you configure that. So for most of it, everything is in here. You do have all sound devices in one place. And that is, of course, available there. And you do have in here the volume mixer that is available for the devices and the apps that use the devices. Remember, the volume mixer is not just for the volume of the general volumes. They also have independent volumes for the different apps that you can use. So when you go into the volume mixer, if you're using an app, say like the media player uh, in here, well, that media player, if you actually uh, go back into the uh, volume mixer, is going to be, in most cases, something that's going to be available in here or show up as a device. now. Here it doesn't right now, but it should technically have the apps or most apps show up in the volume mixer, especially like the media player. Um, one last thing to know is that you can, of course, go easily into the sound settings by going to the speaker icon on the bottom right, right clicking. And here you can open the sound settings, the volume mixer, or even troubleshoot sounds. And if you have multiple devices, you can actually just left click or click on the sound device. And you see that at the end, there's a little arrow here. You can choose among multiple devices that you might have. For example, on my other Windows 10 machine, I have um, a console, I have a USB console. I have a uh, the, the TV screen that can also be a device. And I have other devices that could also be used as an output device for sound. So depending on how you use it, there are several ways to getting into these sound, um, and all the, the sound uh, capabilities and the sound settings in Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.